So we gonna dive right into these questions because a lot of y'all was asking me a bunch of questions. Basically told y'all to ask me some questions on my Instagram. Now listen, if you're not following my Instagram, follow me right now. Like pause everything you're doing and go ahead and tap in with me on Instagram. And also follow my baby, even though she ain't here. Very girl pre, I will also have her Instagram right here just showing some love. But today, y'all see by that top, there we got some Popeye. Y'all, I like Popeye. I feel like they, they got like an addictive chemical in them. Like, I don't know, I just don't feel like Popeye is no good. I had decided to try the new honey barbecue wing, and I also got the ghost peppers, and we're gonna compare the two. Um, Did definitely have the ghost pepper, but I didn't have the honey barbecue. So my baby actually didn't have it either, so I know she's gonna be pissed off when she watches this video and see I'm trying something new without her. I'm still dropping content, I ain't gonna go missing on y'all, I'm gonna hold it down. Only thing I need y'all to do is make sure y'all watching the videos and liking it up and commenting, bro. All y'all gotta do is that, that's y'all only job. Oh, they put love with these is? I ain't never seen nobody no Popeyes do this. I definitely said some juicy questions too. Y'all ain't come to play, and I respect that. So, let me go ahead and show y'all these wings. This is hot. They really be playing with the sauce. I should have said, please, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I only ordered six. Oh, that be a red flag for me. Like, I ain't even gonna lie, like, it's extra food, but it's still a principle. Like, why are you giving me extra food? Like, the food ain't no good or something. Like, let's open this ranch up to dip with. And let's, let's see what that be like, y'all. First thing first, we gotta, we gotta smell it. Smell anything y'all about to put in your mouth. Oh yeah, and another request that I had, I made sure that they made it fresh and I made sure that they made it all flats. Like, I'm just big on that, y'all. So here you go, y'all. They didn't give me no straw. I just peeped, they didn't give me no straw. I'm gonna give it a seven. I'm gonna give it a seven. We're gonna... I like the sweet. I like the sweet to it, but I don't know if it's because they baby sweeted it. Meaning, like, they were scared of putting it on them. I'm gonna definitely give it a nice seven. I feel like it really deserved that seven, highly. It is what it is. Let's try ghost pepper and let's get into these questions. Ghost pepper. You know what I mean? Ghost pepper, a high nine, eight, seven. The only thing I'm like, the ghost pepper gotta be the same. It's, it's they're the same. They like the nice seven, eight, both of them. Nah, I ain't over hyper. What y'all ready? Every time I go there, be the same. I'm gonna that She just be so mad when I ask for fresh. This food already intended to kill us. Let's be real. If I'm gonna go outside, make my food fresh. None of this food good for us anyway. I'm gonna take a drink and I'm gonna dive right into these questions because. Yeah, I had a lot of questions to ask. You know, hit the same. And it looked like they really ain't give me no strawberry, but I don't want to be complaining today. Mm. They did give me strawberry. My bad, papa. Y'all fresh? Y'all gave me my flex? That strawberry is in there, y'all. Let's dive right into these questions. First question is, somebody said respectfully, when did you realize you were attracted to women? Respectfully. Oh, yeah, I took my ring off. It's right here, though. When I not eat. But respectfully, I realized when I was in the fifth grade, but it was, I don't know if this was a realization because I didn't want to pursue it, but I felt it, if that makes sense. I was in the fifth grade, I had this best friend, and I went to her sleepover, and she, we was on the blow-up bed, and she gave me this look, and I fell in love with her, and I was like, cuckoo in the head, y'all. I was so cuckoo about this girl. But I couldn't tell her. So I would listen to love songs and think about her. Fifth grade, y'all. I never wanted this, y'all. And I fought it so, so, so much because I wanted to be straight. But I couldn't help these feelings that I would happen for these people. Got to try to do what I got to So the next question is, how is you and Pre holding since marriage? I feel like me and my wife been through a, a lot of things since our marriage. And it haven't even been that long, which scared me. Yeah, I am hopping from these ghost peppers to these other wings back and forth, literally. We trying to with the ranch, y'all. Mm. 
Mm. I eat chicken with rice, so we cook bear meat. But I don't find we've been really able to really enjoy it. But my great grandma died. We go to Miami. I don't feel like we've been enjoying them, the marriage as much as we should. And I feel bad on my end because I feel like I need to do something. And my baby come back. We really gotta do something. Now. Like, I wanna plan like a whole week just for us to do. It's only been a month, y'all. A month and a half. But I don't know. But I'm happy that I married her. We just gotta get right. But unfortunately, life happens. Like, life stuff been literally the life on us. And we've been having to handle up. I'm gonna make that mad with my chicken. Cause I make pre mad every time, but I just wanna know. Somebody said, when are y'all adding a new mini addition to the family? We really want to really, really soon. Oh yeah, these wings got a buzzer. Somebody said, how are you being home alone? Y'all, bro, what? It is so depressing. And like, I'm trying not to irritate my wife too much because I know she got to focus on what she doing, y'all. But it's so freaking hard because it's like, I'm not there with her. So it's like, I'm consistently calling and bothering her. Somebody said, do you want pre? I'm dropping food, bro. Okay, I need a vibe. Somebody said... Do you and Pre want couple friends, not just YouTube friends? To say, is he about to hit the whip? Y'all, I'm sorry. I was like, what the hell? Hold y'all, my mind and can't really focus on friends right now. Just cause, like, it's more to life. Like, that's another job for her that I'm not willing to take up right now. Mm -hmm. We rock with people. Like, we got a couple people we rock with heavy. I'm not gonna be running up around nobody. And the people that I'm cool with, damn, run up and down me. Bad step, okay, they have a life. But check in sometime. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't really that. I'm not in the front stage right now, y'all. I don't been in that stage so much in my YouTube career. I mm don't -hmm. older, you really don't care about stuff like that. I'm fine, 19, 2021. Damn, even 2022, I gave it to friends. Trying to do the front thing. I got a whole wife, y'all. Somebody said you need to be with your wife. Do y'all realize that? Whatever me and my wife feel like is the best decision for us to make it that moment, we're gonna make it. And I also talk based on this in the last week. She is planning on coming back home soon, so going down there is really just like crazy. She's supposed to be coming home soon, so I just gotta hold it down till she get back. The next question is, you plan on losing weight? I'ma just answer this, y'all, cause I don't know, like, I just really, I just, I'ma just tap based on this. I mean, it's a plan. I ain't really that big how y'all be tripping trying me, like, it's like, okay, I'm not 130, 150, but I'm going to get the one I'm finna go. You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> me eating the chicken sandwich. Nah, I've heard of. I'm going to lose weight. When it's not stuff that's just coming up, I'm throwing me off what I got going on. Okay, I'm moving. Like, I definitely do plan on losing weight. Somebody said, what happened to pre-mom? And I hope she gets better. She's going to be okay. So that's all you guys need to know. Unless my wife wants to speak about it. But she's gonna be okay. Like I keep telling y'all, it's not my place. I'm not saying that like that. I'm sorry. I do have to respect my wife at the end of that. And there's boundaries to certain stuff. So I right, we're gonna start doing more pranks on each other. Listen, how many pranks do y'all really want? Y'all done seen so much pranks and still ask for more pranks. Like, what do y'all want from us? Do y'all want people to be 70, 80, 90 years old pulling pranks and shit? Like, come on, like, y'all gotta start opening up y'all mind and expand it and send us to do more stuff. Like, even if people try to drop other content for y'all, y'all be so pressed on a prank. Like, whatever we drop it for y'all, like, if y'all rock with us, just watch it. Just enjoy it. You know? And then tell us the other stuff y'all want to see too. That, like y'all gotta understand, like YouTube is just growing. Like every day YouTube is expanding. So eventually, like you know, some stuff may have to come to an end. Like not saying that we're not gonna do no pranks, but I've been doing pranks since 2019, bro. I've been saying it's a prank since 20 freaking 19. Guys, somebody said, when did you know that Pre was the one? So in the beginning, I heard Pre a lot. First of all, I didn't want to come out where we was in beginning our relationship. I wanted to keep her a secret. This is facts. Um, like I said, I heard this lady so much. Like, this lady, now I'm making it seem like she old. 
but um I was indecisive on what I really wanted. Like, I didn't want to be... Like I said, I was trying to fight the urge of wanting to be with the woman. Like, I didn't want it. Like, I wanted it, but I'm like, okay, dang, how they gonna look at me like this ain't right type shit. So, I would try to, like, dodge it and, like, protect my feelings from getting too deep. So, I would talk to different people. So, I realized that she was the one where no matter, like, how much, like, I hurt her, like, she'll be on some on the tip where you just gotta change because I'm here. And I'm like, dang, like, shorty, <laughs> she hard. <laughs> like damn she her body like no matter her in the world she's still sticking with me so after a while it made me admire her and i'm like oh my gosh like this girl really loved me and then i told myself why aren't you worthy of it and that's what made me just say okay boom i'm gonna just embrace it and ever since i started embracing it and doing right i just haven't been wanting to deal with nobody else and i just literally i literally just sucked in the love from her and i just poured it back into her and that's why we are what we are at today mm. i chose love I chose love over anything that anybody got to say. And it was the best decision I ever made. Next question. Would you be down to help me and my girl on the basics of starting a YouTube channel? I mean, the basics of it, y'all, is to start the YouTube channel. Like, as far as helping you, I can't help you make a video. Like, this got to be something that you want to do. You know what I'm trying to say? Like, no matter what you want to do, for no matter what you want for somebody, somebody got to want to date. So, only thing I do is start a channel and do the videos. From there... After that, you got to promote yourself. Promote yourself as much as you possibly can. Promote yourself every single day. Let these people see your face. Like, make them get sick of your face. Y'all remember that boy who used to be twitching? And then he started coming out with, um, a symbol. Like, it's like this man had been forcing himself on people for years. And now everybody rock with him. Well, even if a lot of people don't rock with him, I mean, he bigger than he was before when he was twitching. What's something that keep you up at night? Thinking about my dreams and my goals. Do you ever think about quitting YouTube? I think about it consistently. But then I understand that it's not an option. I'm comfortable with YouTube. I've been doing this for five years. One of six years, April. So, and the midst of doing... 2019? Yeah, 2019 to now. How many years that is? However many years that is it, when you do your count. I've been comfortable doing this. Like, this has been my lifestyle. Like, this is the lifestyle that I chose to live. So, it's like, you chose a lifestyle. What you gonna give up on this lifestyle and go back to what, point A, and that's the job that you quit and said you ain't never working again? Like, you gotta understand, when you make that understanding with yourself and that sacrifice to give up working for the other person company and become your own boss why would you want to go back to that like that's just that's you going backwards in your life and that's not an option for me. no matter what like i'm comfortable with youtube i live a comfortable life like i wouldn't turn back and change nothing i'm just gonna keep it real what's your favorite color my baby favorite color is pink and my favorite color is whatever my favorite color is that day somebody said i think y'all marriage will last right now how it's going definitely but i feel like in a marriage any marriage can last as long as you're willing to put the work in what is the best part about being married to the love of your life time experiencing that time together and making memories with that person and creating your own family with that person like knowing that i'm gonna get old this lady like that's that's in my brain like i'm gonna get old her like she gonna see me when i'm old and gray hair and i'm gonna see her i just feel like it's so beautiful like we're gonna be sitting on the porch and like i don't know like i just see us in our house that we own sitting on the porch kissing with our two dogs and our kids and i don't know like i just got the picture for that everything just gonna be perfect for us people ask me about my mental health i'm good y'all i'm good for the most part i just need my wife and i need my mother-in-law good and i'm good but you know my mother-in-law doing better my wife she will be to me in no time she just sent me a text message and said that she can't wait to come home we're waiting on that but i'm about to go ahead and close this video out y'all because i gotta go first of all the camera is going dead so i'm just gonna wrap this video up right here like i said the wings i smashed I'm gonna keep it real, y'all. I smashed, like, I left, like, one wing and a ghost pepper. The ghost pepper was better, and I left three of the barbecue honeys or whatever freaky it's called. I go ahead and subscribe to the channel. I love y'all so much. Thank you for rocking with the kid. We can't wait till my baby get home. Y'all, my baby come home. We gotta do a B. We gotta celebrate. We gotta do something to my child, too. And thank y'all so much for everything. Like, thank y'all for the uplifting words. Thank y'all for everything. Fruit is out.